this is it. So after 24 hours, the AirThings digital radon detector has now completed its kind of um, sample. So up here, with, um, when I first switched it on, if you saw it, there were bars going across and these bars disappear as it gets closer to coming up with that first reading. So here we can see a reading of 31 um, and up the top it's got the long term average of 29. I think this takes a um, reading over a year, so the average would be over a year. Um, some of the kind of um, things they put on their box is, uh, let's have a look, it's a bit better. So no lab fees, uh, take control of radon levels, that's the thing with this. You can get test kits that you pop in um, different places of the house and then you have to send them off for the lab, but then that's it. So if you're buying one of these um, meters, you can have it in the house just going all the time. Don't forget that um, if you've got windows open, like we have because it's summer, you'll get a lower reading because obviously the ventilation. So come winter when the windows are shut, you will find that the reading will probably go up higher. Um, so yeah, 24 hours for those um, readings to come through, which we've got there. Uh, on the back, there's some interesting things as well. Um, describing what radon is, um, basically, yeah, invisible, odorless, radioactive gas that fluctuates daily. Radon is naturally occurring, found everywhere, impacting air quality. Really only a big issue in enclosed spaces. Outside, it just goes into the atmosphere. Inside, it can't escape that easily. Uh, buildings as well, um, it will come up through the ground and it will go through services like gaps in pipes. Um, there are things you can put in place, radon barriers, uh, you can do radon sumps and, and various different things. But here in the southwest, I think it is a particular problem um, and most people would not get a test done, the surveys don't cover this, they just warn you. So yeah, anyway, going back to this, so radon is the leading cause of lung cancer for non-smokers. So looking at it, they reckon that uh, a thousand UK lung cancer deaths per year are attributed to radon gas. So that's not people from smoking, um, that's purely, yeah, non-smokers. Um, I'm not sure about these facts here, claims approximately six more lives than house fires and carbon monoxide combined. Uh, no lab fees, free AA batteries. So the unit came with uh, Duracell batteries, the industrial ones. And yeah, the unit comes, um, it's designed in Norway and assembled in Tunisia. So a few people, if you look on Amazon, there's some kind of like uh, negative feedback about the units not lasting long, but um, I don't know, see how it goes, maybe that was a bad batch or something, so it is pretty easy to use. All you do is remove the battery, um, kind of, what do you call it, blanking strip, pull that out, it activates this, and then 24 hours you've got your first day reading. Um, if it was, I don't know, you, it'd be good if you could export the data, but you know. Uh, one thing I did read though was that uh, on rainy days the readings will go higher. I guess that's something to do with humidity and radon, I don't know, radon humidity being like giving a higher reading. So yeah, um, so if we look at the kind of uh, kind of recommendations, I mean this is the UK, this is the Southwest, so um, in America it's 148 BQ meter squared or less. Um, the Atomic Energy Agency of the United Nations is less than 200. BQ meter squared, and yeah, the UK Public Health England recommends less than 200 BQ meter squared. So those are the figures, and these are the facts. So I would definitely recommend one of these units. There's not that many units out there at this sort of price that you can get hold of. Uh, once you have done the test, you pretty much sell it fairly easily on like online auction or marketplace. So, you know, that's worth considering as well. And don't forget as well that also you get, say, um, your next door neighbors, they've done this and they get a reading, say, of this, like this one here, 31. You know, your house could be 300, 400. All the properties are different, different kind of ways that they've possibly been built or defects in the building structure, the holes in the ground. Um, 
yeah so hope you like this video don't forget to rate subscribe if you've got any questions feel free to ask and i'll get back to you as soon as i can thanks for watching take care bye